Carl von Terzaghi defines soil consolidation as any process which involves a decrease in water content of saturated soil without replacement of water by air. When the loads are first placed on saturated soils, the water in the pores of the soil matrix carries the pressure without a change in volume. Water is then forced away by higher pore pressure and the soil solids take up the load as the soil compresses. The unit volume of the soil and the moisture content is then reduced. Pioneers in the field of soil mechanics testing recognized early on that this predictable soil behavior would allow them to calculate the rate and amount of soil consolidation for a given load. In the early 1900s, a loading device to measure one-dimensional deformation of soil samples was already in use, of which the concept is still used today in soil consolidation testing. ASDM test method D2435 and its ASHTO equivalent T216 are the most common one-dimensional soil consolidation test performed today. Soil samples mounted in specialized test fixtures, called consolidometers, are positioned in consolidation load frames for incremental loading, where the deformation of the soil sample is measured. Consolidometers are testing fixtures in a variety of diameters that precisely hold a soil specimen between two porous stones for consolidation testing. There are two types of consolidometers, fixed ring and floating ring consolidometers. Fixed ring consolidometers have a sample ring fixed in place, so the soil sample is only loaded from the top, which is suitable for a wider range of soil types, including softer soils. Floating ring consolidometers have sample rings that are not fixed during use, but supported by the friction of the specimen which is suitable for stiffer soils. Consolidation load frames provide a platform and loading mechanism for soil consolidometers by applying a stable and specified axial incremental load. There are two types of load frames, deadweight consolidation load frames and pneumatic consolidation load frames. Deadweight consolidation load frames provide accurate axial load to the soil sample through a system of suspended hanging weights. Sample deflection can be monitored analog or digitally. And generally, an experienced operator with practice techniques will produce more repeatable results using this method. The pneumatic consolidation load frame uses precision control compressed air to apply and maintain the entire range of consolidation test loads, resulting in overall greater accuracy, efficiency, and ease of use. For dead weight load frames, determining the sample load is a matter of knowing the mass of the free weight, the loading ratio of the beam, and the surface area of the sample. For pneumatic machines, the pressure regulator control is simply adjusted to the desired sample load. Monitoring deformation values for either type of consolidation test method can be performed in a number of ways, including using mechanical and digital dial indicators, linear variable displacements transducers, and data collection systems like the Gilson Data Acquisition Software that calculates and reports test results in accordance with ASDM and AASHTO test specifications. For any questions about consolidation testing or for any Gilson product, please contact your Gilson technical support team.